Hello, drag race fans. You are watching the pit stop, and I'm your host, Chanel Number Five. Just kidding. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Nellyville. Yo, 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 yo. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. With all that being said, I'm gonna put my charger down, and we're gonna talk about drag race. Yay! So we are in episode three, and before we get into all of the tea. Can we talk about the pit stop for a second? If you don't know what the pit stop is, it's basically a sports center for drag race. That's the best way that I can describe it. So on the latest episode of the pit stop, Bianca Del Rio is hosting this season of the pit stop. The first episode, you had Jinx Monsoon and Ben De La Creme. I just, did anybody else notice how um, elevated Jinx was on the show. Now, I know Jinx is no stranger to dabbling. Also, congratulations to uh, Jinx Monsoon on her Broadway debut. Congratulations. But she was very um, medicated. I mean, more power, but it, it was it was to the point where I, could, I couldn't even really focus on the commentary. It was getting a little wild. So we still have a whole lot of queens and hopefully we are going to be sending people home every week two or three at a time there was no mini challenge this week the maxi challenge winner spoiler word was sasha colby and we'll talk about her performance in it so there was no mini challenge so the girls had to divide up into teams you had team anitra you had team amethyst and then you had the leftovers so anitra was the winner from last week amethyst won the lip sync when she was in the bottom two the previous week and normally on drag race they do the back and forth uh, but this time, Anitra picked her whole group, and then Amethyst picked her whole group, and then it left this third group group called The Leftovers, which was kind of fun and cute. Ha ha ha. I like the acting challenges on RuPaul's Drag Race. Some of them I like more than others. This was an improv challenge. The girls had to come up with their own scripts, their own infomercials on how to recruit people to come to their vision of heaven. It was a great concept, but really, Nobody really did it for me. I enjoyed the twins. I think Selena S. Cities, she she did, you know, she did well. There was a couple of others who I, I kind of chuckled. Everyone lived for Sasha Colby's little little neck thing. It didn't I didn't think it was that funny. I'm judging Sasha very, very hard because this is legendary iconica drag persona here. Princess Poppy was on Amethyst's team. And when she got picked by Amethyst, she runs from the, from the, what would be the leftovers and says, sorry, losers. Poppy. <gasps> yeah. Sorry, losers. And RuPaul says, those words may haunt you. Oh, they will. they will. Oh, they will. Game on. And, and met her demise. She went home. Princess, we love you, Poppy. Now, sashay away. That's why, man, you got to be careful what you say, because sometimes karma will come, come up, karma will come up and catch up with you quicker than you thought. The girls were all judged as individuals, which I like that. As far as the runways, so the theme of the runways was Metallica. Lux, beautiful. A lot of people were upset with Selena as Titties. Um, runway look. I thought it was campy. I thought it was funny. It didn't bother me. Before we talk about the lip sync, I do want to say the twins were separated. They weren't working together, but they did well considering they were separated. <sighs> There's a part where they're, the leftover team is planning what they're going to do for the challenge. And Jax, I, I'm going to be so honest with y'all. I'm not, I'm not really... Jax ain't really giving it to me and I think Jax needs to be humbled and not knocked down a peg and this is what really really I'm just like baby when, when are you going home because you, you now you're just getting on my nerves I mean love you so much you know I'm sure you're a very talented queen but you're doing a lot so Jax takes it upon himself to get up from the table and physically remove sugar from her seat and move her down to at the end of the table and was like for my own sanity, I need you to move out of the way because you talking too much. I'm just gonna do this for my own sanity. Let me, let me go I'm to gonna the move end. you let down to, to the end. end. If you go. keep shoving your two cents yeah. in, I think <laughs> I'm gonna go and say it. Okay. Which is wild because Jax did all this boom to cat cat talking 
And then, and where was her character in the infomercial? She faded away. Baby, where are you? The look was not giving. But first of all, man, don't touch me down. Man, back up off me, Mike. Oh, dad, draw my iPad. At least Sugar was trying to give ideas. At least uh, Sugar brought the energy to the commercial and, and carried a look. Now, speaking of looks, a lot of people feel like Sugar and Spice, are they are tired of, are they going to do the twin thing all season? Are their looks going to complement each other? That doesn't bother me. They're twins. And it makes it exciting. It's something different that we haven't had on Drag Race before. We get to the lip sync, right? And they did Ain't No Mountain High Enough. So Princess Poppy and Amethyst, Amethyst for the second time, have landed in the bottom two. Now Princess Poppy, baby, I don't know where you got that Party City runway look, but I don't know what made you think you was gonna come on RuPaul's Drag Race season 15 on on, M on MTV in 2023 and wear what you was wearing. I, I was offended. I was I, I, oh oh. And once again, like last week, I was kind of underwhelmed with the lip sync. It was better than last week, but you are performing Diana Ross in front of RuPaul. That's his, that's his girl. And y'all are just Princess Poppy doing the lip sync. Princess Poppy goes back to, um, to the back where the girls are standing and it's like, Ain't no man, no man. <laughs> yeah, I'm with my girls. And people were like, what's she doing? Like, what is, I thought it was funny. Did it really go with the song? Maybe not, but it was funny. It was fine. It was fine. But yeah, so anyways, Princess Poppy ends up going home. I think Amethyst was saved a little bit because what she was wearing, which the, the runway look was okay. It gave. Um, the, she had the bouncy hair. She tried to do the Diana, you know, little movements, little thing. I think what she was wearing kind of helped save her but um, some people have an issue with way, the way that the show is edited this year a lot has changed but y'all the show's got to evolve that's why drag race has been on so long because rupaul knows when to switch it up <laughs> still got a lot of queens congratulations sasha colby on that's my little quick recap on season on episode three of season 15 of drag race go ahead and follow uh, subscribe come follow me on all of my other social media so you know every time that i upload a brand new video this is the bootleg pit stop next time again